Well, my mom has a story where she says the first drawing that she remembers me doing, and she asked me what it was, and I said it was a man thinking about himself. Yeah, I'm Jason Yeagle. I'm a painter. I love to draw people, you know, make figurative work like my dad did. And I've been striving to draw hands well since I was like six years old. And I think that, that probably adds up uh, over time for sure, because I don't really think about how I draw hands a whole lot anymore. For me, the purpose of art is a coping mechanism. For me, art has been something that, that allows me, allows me to, to be alive, allows me to function in the world, um, allows me to, to maintain some sort of equilibrium um, and to have a place to express myself that doesn't need me to be anything other than what I am in my perfectly mistaken form. You know, I just, I'm just such a believer artistically in a nonlinear process. You know, I'm not interested in an artist sort of giving us all the info. I'm not so interested in pop songs. I'm more interested in someone's deep personal conversation with themselves and as an artist that I get to then witness. I want to try to find colors that fall between saturated and unsaturated, that have a personality that uh, is, is subtle or uh, is in between one meaning and another meaning, one, one valence and another valence, one hue and another hue. Well, I grew up in Boston, which in a lot of ways isn't dissimilar from San Francisco. Just this thing of being a kid growing up in, a, in an urban place where you were traversing the city by yourself and there's something kind of uh, potentially, you know, maybe a little bit dangerous about the city, but at the same time, it kind of has you in its embrace. And there's something nice about belonging in a city. And so I'm really experiencing this neighborhood day to day and have a relationship to this place. So within my work, I've always found myself representing these kind of urban spaces as well. The thing that I wanted to kind of represent was something that had some sort of power, some kind of story that regarded the families that live in the neighborhood and that expressed my pride for San Francisco. I'm definitely pretty proud to have my work out in the public.